Today we're going to make a Five Nights at Freddy's pasta and mini pizza dinner. First we'll make some breadsticks shaped like Five Nights at Freddy's characters. We'll mix two cups of flour, one half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon baking powder, one tablespoon olive oil, and three cups water. Once the dough is mixed, we'll roll it out and cut out the F and AF characters. Next, we'll use food coloring to color them in.
made pasta curtains using flat sheets of lasagna pasta. I boiled them in some water, then painted on food coloring to color them red. I used rice paper and food coloring pins to make a checkered wallpaper strip. Then I added sauce, cheese, and mini pepperoni pizzas to the mini pizzas. I added everything to the plate. And that's it! Now we have a Five Nights at Freddy's pasta and mini pizza dinner. It's time to customize another Barbie baby. Today we're going to turn our little baby into Happy Frog from Five Nights at Freddy's Simulator. And now without further ado, let us get started. First, I painted the baby green. I painted the baby's complete body green and I used multi-surface acrylic paint. Now, one of the reasons I use multi-surface acrylic paint is that it doesn't need to be sealed. If you use different kinds of paint, they may need a sealer applied afterwards just so that the paint doesn't chip off. But the sealer is actually built into this type of paint, so you don't need to do that. It actually makes it a little bit shiny too, and I kind of like that. Now it's time for painting on the eyes. Happy Frog has her eyes on top of her head, so I painted them very high on the baby's head. I'm using yellow paint first and just making sure they're nice and big because Happy Frog has very large eyes. The bottom of Happy Frog's mouth is yellow. It's like she has a bottom lip there. So I painted on a big line where the bottom of the mouth is going to be. Then I painted on her tummy. She has a great big yellow tummy. Her fingertips are also yellow and so are the bottom of her feet. It's really funny, I started thinking about it, and if we were really painting her as a baby, we would make a little tadpole. But today we're going in a different direction, artistically. At this point, I'd put lots of layers of yellow paint on, and so now I'm just going around and straightening up the lines a little bit, and then I realized that two of her fingers are folded in, and I actually painted her finger yellow instead of the fingertips, so I just corrected that too. This is how you can get straighter lines when you're painting. For instance, with her eyes, it was really hard to get the yellow eyes to be really solid, especially around the edges, because I was putting on so many layers. So if you go back over with the green and just straighten up those lines a little bit, it makes it look so much better. I continued doing this for every little part of her, just to make sure she looked better than she did. I painted on the black parts of her eyes, and this is where her eyes are going to sit. It's almost like her eyes are sitting in this big empty space. I don't know if that's what they were going for or not, um, because it looks like she has eyelids as well. But no matter what it really is, we have to paint in this big black section of her eyes. I added her mouth, and just like all Five Nights at Freddy's characters, she has a very large mouth. I pulled it down to the bottom so that it would meet that yellow line so that it looks like her mouth is open a little bit. I added her eyelashes. And for her little frog nostrils, 
I added those right where the baby's nostrils are and it actually worked out really well. I added white eyeballs. And I gave her magenta eyes. Happy Frog has four teeth. She has two teeth up top and she has two teeth directly below her top teeth. Okay, that's looking so, so weird. But in a good way, because Five Nights at Freddy's characters aren't usually cute and cuddly. They look a little weird. For the top little dangly thing on top of her head, I think she's a remote control character and that's supposed to be part of her antenna. I decided to use one of the little balls off of this ribbon. But as it turns out, these little balls fall apart really easily. They're, I don't even know how they're staying on there at all. So that couldn't be used. So I went on to plan B, which I just thought of when plan A went to pieces. I had this little jewelry wire and I put a bead at the end of it and hot glued it in place. Then I painted it yellow. I cut off the end and that was too big. So I cut it down even smaller and then I hot glued it on top of Happy Frog Baby's head. Ta-da! And that's it! We have a cute little Happy Frog Baby. I actually kind of like this one after it was all complete. I think she's really, really cute in a really fun Five Nights at Freddy's way. Of course she looks weird, but the weird is wonderful. I started thinking, what if Five Nights at Freddy's had a daycare? What would a commercial for that daycare look like? I think it would look something like this. You may know Five Nights at Freddy's as the most popular pizzeria for children. Childhood dreams come true at Five Nights at Freddy's. But now there's Five Nights at Freddy's Daycare. Take your children to the happiest daycare on earth where they can interact with their favorite animatronics. They'll play in the prize corner with Puppet. They can join Circus Baby in the scooping room for ice cream. There's dance class with Ballora. With so many fun activities, your children may never leave. That's right. That's where I'm gonna send my baby. It's the only place I trust, man. That's the place. Five Nights at Freddy's Daycare. It's the best daycare in town. Yeah. But now there's even more fun. Five Nights at Freddy's now offers night care. Some of the exclusive night activities include hide and seek from the animatronics. Trying not to open doors or turn on electricity until 6 a.m. And more. Be sure to check out Five Nights at Freddy's Daycare coming to a town near you. Now we get a bonus project. We're going to make a Five Nights at Freddy's pizza out of foam. For this, you can use any kind of round object that you can trace a circle with. I'm using a bottle of paint because that's the size I wanted to make. And then I cut it out. I repeated these steps for the red foam and then I cut it just a little bit smaller. Now it doesn't have to be a perfect circle because we kind of want it to look like sauce and sauce is not perfectly round like the pizza is. I peeled off the backing and stuck it on the pizza. I cut another circle for the yellow and then I cut it around again making sure it was smaller than the red circle. Then I peeled off the backing and stuck it onto the sauce. I cut out some little tiny pieces of black foam to make olives.
and then I placed them on the pizza. You know, I should have probably started with the pepperoni because it doesn't look much like pizza right now. I drew some circles on the back of some red foam. And then I cut them out for pieces of pepperoni. And then I placed them on the pizza. I decided to use some green foam for some little peppers and just kind of stuck them on there. This pizza looks a little bit sparse, but then I thought, you know, in real life, when you get pizza, there's never enough pepperoni. So this is kind of a true to life art piece. I thought it would be fun to cut it into little slices. So I took my scissors and started cutting the pieces. I actually cut through some of the pepperoni and toppings. And I thought that that was really cute too, because that's really how it would look. And that's it. Let's take another look at our little happy frog baby. I really had a lot of fun making this. This is what we started with, and this is what we ended up with. Pretty cute. If you've made it this far in the video, say the code word cupcake in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe. See you next time. Have a great day.